right, so here we have my air skimmer. Hopefully yours is colored, decorated, and cut out. You should have four parts, main body, air fin, fin, and an air scoop, okay? This is gonna go on the underside. So if you didn't color it, don't worry about it. Um, next thing we're gonna do is we're going to score. So specifically in this video, you do not score these guys. I'm going to set them off to the side, but I will score the air scoop as well as this guy right here. I usually score the main body first, so I think that's what I'm gonna score first. And the way you do that is you take your ruler and you line it up along that line that you want to score. Okay, so I'm actually lifting this up to help me butt it up right up against there. Okay, so I can see my dots on the side. Let me zoom in for you so you can see those dots there. Um, and then I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna just gently press and go along, see how I'm pressing up against that ruler, okay? So that's gonna help me to make a nice straight line for scoring. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna bend this along that line that I just got done pressing. So if you did a good job scoring, it shouldn't be too hard, but at the same time, you don't wanna cut through the paper. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and press this. Let me zoom back out and you kinda see the finished project just a little bit. Crease this, okay. All right, and so it's a nice, even fold. All right, and I'm gonna do that with each of the different sides. Um, I'm gonna line this up because of my right and left-handedness, okay? If you wanna be consistent on the inside or however you wanna do that, you can turn the paper over, manipulate it as you need it. I'm gonna press up against that. If I were left-handed, I might do it a little differently, okay? Switch hands, whatever works best for you. This video could be mirrored, so. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna press this. I'm gonna fold it up, press it down with my thumbs. There we go. I have these two parts here. And you really want this to be kinda square, all right, because that's what it's gonna glide against for a long. So nice, smooth folding. The next thing I'm gonna do is I have my air scoop. I'm gonna take my air scoop and I'm going to, <laughs> first I'm gonna check to make sure it's gonna fit in the middle. All right, my air scoop is just a little bit wide. So if you look, sorry, I gotta move this. So if you look right here, this isn't going to actually fit inside. See how I'm a little bit wide there? So what I'm gonna do now is before I even get started is I'm going to correct that line. Um, some of you may not have to do that, but you do want this to fit inside. You want it to fit well and snugly. Um, and so this is something that I a lot of times will do before I even go cutting it out just to make sure it fits the way I want it to. So I'm gonna go ahead and correct that line. I know this is a fold line, but if it does confuse you, you can put your little hash marks that way. And I'm gonna erase this one here. And what I need to do now is I need to trim this piece here. So I'm gonna trim this one. Let me bring it out just a little bit. So now I need to trim this one here. So I'm gonna go ahead. I should be one eighth of an inch. So following the same standards I had before, I'm gonna go ahead and measure out one eighth. So make sure the short sides are the same. And you can check the other side and be like, yep, I did one eighth before. I'm gonna do one eighth again. So that's pretty good there. So now I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna make my mark. Okay, so one eighth is about here. And then I'm gonna do three eighths. I'm checking this side. Yep, that's what I did on that side. I wanna make sure they're the same. Okay, when I make my, it's gonna kind of be like a little ramp. That's gonna go on the bottom of it. And I'll show you that here in a second. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna draw this line. Boop. And now I'm gonna cut this. All right, because I made an adjustment, but it'll fit a lot better inside that portion of my main body. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna cut this right here. There we go, that looks a lot better. So now with that the way I want it, let's go ahead and let's score. So notice I'm using a metal ruler for scoring. If I didn't mention it before, Please use a metal ruler. Don't use wooden or other things. A lot of times those don't work well. The plastic and the wood, you're gonna shave a little piece of it off. It's not, not the best thing to use. So I do like to use a metal ruler for scoring. I open up my scissors like this and just drag the scissor along. Notice when you bend it, kind of a small side to big. I'm gonna bend this side here. It's 
small side to big, all right? Um, what I am gonna do, okay, is when you assemble this, make sure the small side goes towards the front of your skimmer, so not this side here. You don't want the, the gaps, okay? This is the front of my skimmer. That's where it is going to go. So it's gonna go here, and there should be a little bit of a, kind of a, a bigger gap on this side here to help create that ramp and a smaller gap here. So whether you tape, glue, however you choose to do it, make sure you're not obscuring or messing up a lot of these edges here. 